To me, when it comes to spending, um, I like to be clever about how I spend. And, and I think I, I try to remind myself that you don't have to spend things on items that are necessary, necessarily going to impress other people, but be clever about how it impacts your future. So I won't lie, I like luxury goods. I like beautiful things. I like handbags and shoes. Um, sometimes I'd actually go into secondhand um, luxury stores um, or I'd even go to the outlet stores and see if there's a way for me to enjoy my extravagant taste, but not with an extravagant cost. Um, and then the money that I'd save from that, I'd rather put into a property or, or something which has a long-term financial benefit. Um, I, I think, yeah, it's, it's very important that your money works for you and not the other way around. Property has always been one of my passions. Um, it's not something that necessarily was always discussed in our family or so, but property became a passion of mine after I read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And in it, he spoke about how one could use property and, and make the property actually work for you to generate passive income. And I used my prize money from South Africa when I was 19 to invest in my first ever apartment. So I remember all my friends and I would be going out, I was like, woohoo, party, but I'd only have one drink and drink it very slowly because I knew any extra funds had to go into my bond. But when I think about it now, I'm so grateful that I took that leap of faith and that I did invest in my first property. Um, and, and since then, I've just really enjoyed learning about property, developing and just making something your home. Thank you.